Hello everybody, my name is Shushu, welcome back to this let's play, we play Fallout New Vegas and what can I say, I have some quests, well not many quests, some quests, find atomic fuel, well we find the atomic fuel, no big deal, but I have to, but I have to tell you something about this game, well, I, for, Yesterday, I wanted to load my save game and it didn't load, so I had an endless loading screen. And I thought, what is happening, man? My PC is not that bad. It's not for this game. This game is well old, and well, my PC should load this game pretty fast. But well, it didn't load. Guns and explosives. Yeah, let's take this. And. I thought, man, what is wrong with the game? There's something wrong. There must be something wrong. And, well, it turns out uh, you have to start a new game. And after you started a new game, uh, you have to load your, well, your save game from the new game, from the beginning, after the cutscene. And now I have, I, I have to start always a new game to load my save file here. This is... Oh, I don't know. Legion Denarius. Machete. Oh, Magnum, Magnum Revolver, Case, Dirty Water, Machete, Night Circle, Tail. Items, weapons. L let's repair this. There are some dead. Legionnaires data world map. I'm on the right. I'm I'm going the right way, but I should sleep uh, at some point. Enemies. What is this? Bottle cap. Isotope. Journey, police button, a radiation suit. Radiation resistance, this should be okay. Oh, I'm overcumbered, man. Uh, the reason. Oh, I should repair my incinerator. Are there enemies? Or not? Well, the game is okay. I mean, Clarkfield. There are enemies. Oh, I'm. There's a radiator. Oh, I need my radiation suit. Golden Gecko. Die! God damn it! Young Golden Gecko. I need my radiation suit. Golden Gecko egg? I don't know. Oh no, one more and I'm overcome. But oh, man, why? Where's this Golden Gecko? Golden Gecko egg, value 50. Well, let's put on this radiation suit. Where is it? How do I look? Nice. Well, I have radiation resistance. What do you want from me, man? Am I on the right? Oh, I did it already. I found some. Oh, nice. But they're golden gag. Well, now let's go. So we go here. Mm. 
radiation suit. Yo, what's up, man? I'm back. I have everything you want. Here. Have you found the components we discussed? Yeah, of course, man. Yes, that's the stuff. And the container shielding must be intact or you'd be dead by now. The rockets are set to go, right? Yes. I'll tell Jason that the great journey can begin. We have everything we need to launch the rockets, Jason. The great journey can begin. Gather all. May the Creator guide my words and help me speak true. The Almighty Creator has seen fit to answer our prayers. The time has come for us to board the rockets and begin the great journey. Though it may seem that all humans despise us, the Creator has seen fit to instruct us differently. The journey ahead would have been impossible if not for the intercession of two human friends. One you, the other a long-abiding companion. To our new friend, we say thanks and promise never to forget how he cleared from our path the demons who sought to stay our journey. But to Chris, we owe more than thanks. Chris, you have made this great journey a reality. From this moment forward, you will be remembered as the saint of the great journey. We shall never forget you. I ask that you forgive us, Chris, and give us your blessing. And we bestow ours upon you. Seekers, board the rockets. Take your seats. The great journey awaits. To the promised land we go. To the far beyond. Hello. Hey. Hello. Hey. Hey. I want to see them start. Don't see them start, right? Did you hear him? My god, you were right all along. I'm no ghoul. They were just using me. You pathetic, no wonder they're leaving you behind. No, they'd take you if they could, Chris, but you'd die. And dying would be worse than this? Used up and thrown away like garbage? You're pathetic. Nah. They're going to review you as a saint, Chris. Oh, so I've redeemed the human race, is that it? What a crock. The human race can't stand me. That's not true, Chris. You're alright. So, you want me to accompany you on your adventures across the wasteland, is that it? Of course, man. There's a little town called Novik down the road. Life among humans again? That's what you're suggesting? I guess... I guess it's the only chance I've got. Maybe it'll be different this time. I was never a saint before. I can't believe I'm agreeing to this, but I'll give it a try. You go launch the rockets. I'm on my way to Novak. So, and why can't I... So, and... Where can I... Launch the rockets? Hey. Where's this? Huh? Are you serious, man? Ok, 
Okay, I have to launch the rockets. Uh, but let's change... this. Can I repair it? Nah, I can't. <gasps> Where's my... This. So where I have to launch them? In the facility. Okay, let's go. What do you like this, huh? Kicked your ass, man. Kicked your butt really hard. Serious? Ah, up there, okay. Man, I can't give myself more strength. I don't know why. I have to live this. Where's the launch pad? There we go. Science. I don't have science. Well, let's launch. Du -du 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 -du. Everybody knows this music. The like enough news of your good work has been passed around. No one likes me, yes. Awesome. Let's go back to Novak. Where's Novak here? I can't faster level. Level up. Mm. I need lock picking. Well, five at guns. Ten and lock picking. Yeah, so what do we have? New stuff. Strong bag. With the strong bag perk, you can carry 50 more pounds of equipment. My god. With the scrounger perk, you'll find considerably more ammunition in containers than you normally would. Quick draw. Quick draw makes all of your weapon equipping and holstering 50% faster. Commando. While using a rifle or similar two-hand weapon, your accuracy in vets is significantly increased. Toughness. The toughness perk you gain plus two, yeah, I know, shotgun surgeon. Your precision with a scattergun, okay. Lead belly, gunslinger. Well, scrunch. But there's nothing with speech, right? Well, but how can I get some? Well, first of all, we go with the strong bag, man. It's what I need. I want to carry more stuff. I have so much ammunition. And now we go out. And we just go to Novak. Ah, uh, I'll be right back. Alright, I'm back. So, if you... Well, if you wonder what happened while well, I sleep one hour, the reason 
why I said I'll be right back is the game just well shut itself down again so yeah and it's the second time entering the basement here of this facility this sucks man it's not a good sign let me tell you this now I go back to Novak because I have to talk to Bison it uh, well his wife is missing and so it's about his wife so well let's see I don't even know how to holster this weapon you notice I don't know I don't know which button you have to press to hold the weapon for real I don't know I don't know oh R you have to press R all right oh sorry well I did what he asked me to do so I'm like the Novak yeah let's go to the dinosaur how are you what are you Cheney hey, hey well welcome to you you look tired from the road why don't you relax a spell let this fine town take care of you we haven't met yet oh what am I doing I got to thinking about making a good impression and plain forgot to tell you my name I'm Jeannie May I take care of folks here at the motel long as they aren't troublemakers okay goodbye watch out for strangers it's the hotel so who's this howdy it's a Novak settler who's this it's Boone Boone is going to his place right no offense but I need to focus yeah yeah go up there Boone Ranger Andy Cliff Prisco Motel room many Vargas I talk to Boone in a second Hello I could steal this stuff no thank you I'm like Novak so don't steal Hey Ranger Andy We haven't met yet you must be new in town I'm Andy Oh Andy sorry what do you do here Andy Right now a whole lot of sitting on my keister and counting cracks in the ceiling. I wouldn't wish it on anybody. On better days, I help keep the peace. Boone and Vargas watch the road. I watch the town. Tell myself I'm doing some good. You with the NTR, right? Was. Was with them. That was back when my arm and leg used to work better. I still like to pretend I'm a ranger, though. I'll check in with the guys up at the station pretty regular on the ham radio. Sometimes they stop by, tell me they're paying their respects, the smug bastards. They haven't been responding to me the last couple days. I guess they got tired of hearing me talk, but it still got me a little worried. Hell, listen to me talk, like some damn mother hen. Would it feel better if I checked on your NC friends for you? Uh, no. No, they're gonna think I'm having trouble letting go. They're good soldiers. I don't give them enough credit. Tell me about the Rangers. They're the NCR's finest. A one-man platoon, each of them. You got a job where even thinking about it would scare a man senseless? That's when you bring in the Rangers. And if you see a squad of veterans, guys who are in their black armor, well, you won't find a more beautiful sight. Okay. Did you do something to your leg? Yeah, twice. Actually, the first time, it was more like half my body. Knocked me out of the Rangers. This time... It's mostly just reminded me how useless I've gotten. What happened? A few years back, we get a tip that some Legion slavers were holed up in this burnout house a few clicks from where we were stationed. We get there and it's deserted. No sign anyone's been there. I mean, nothing. As we're leaving, I hear something behind me. I turn around and there's this kid, just skin and bone, and he's looking up at us and he's scared half to death. Been hiding in a closet. What did you do? 
I go to grab him out of there and I notice he's holding something in his hand. Something metal. He shuts himself back in the closet and that's when I see the grenade he's left by my feet. They do it a lot, the Legion, using kids. They know we'll hesitate. Anyway, that was the first time. Second time, I fell down those stairs in front of the motel. Just in case I got to thinking I'd put it all behind me. Speech, your body's injured, not your mind. You're kidding yourself, you think you're useless. Huh. <laughs> People don't exactly line up to find out what's in my head. Can't remember the last time someone suggested I knew something worth knowing. You know, maybe there's something I can do for you. Since you've gone to all the trouble of flattering a crippled old soldier, there's a move we have in the Rangers for knocking an opponent off his feet. Save my butt a bunch of times, maybe it will for you too. Let me show you how it's done. You've learned the Ranger take that special move. To use this technique, initiate a power attack while moving backwards. You drop your opponent to the ground. Thank you, my dude. Thank you, thank you. Res you have any luck with the ghouls? I'm counting on you. I did it. The ghouls are no longer at Repcon. Really? Unbelievable, man. I knew that wasn't going to be easy. But I had a good feeling about you. You look like you've been through a lot. How about the man I'm looking for? Okay. I'll tell you everything I know. Like I promised. The guy you're looking for, Benny, he was traveling with some members from my old gang. They were going to Boulder City. Any idea why they went that way? No clue. I know Benny hadn't paid up yet. Maybe that was where they were supposed to get square. Where's Boulder City? It's straight up Route 93 from here. Just keep following the road north. That's all I need to know. Hope that helps. I owed you. Goodbye. Yeah, see ya. Idolized. Oh, yeah. I idolized by the community. Nice. Novak, man, Novak. How you doing? Well, let's just save the game. This we should do. Of course, you never know when this game breaks, man. And you get back to the desktop. God damn it. Don't sneak up on me like that. What do you want? Sorry, man. Expecting visitors? Yeah, I guess maybe I am. But not like you. Huh. Maybe it should have been you I was expecting all along. Why are you here? Speech. If you're looking for someone in particular, I could tip you off if I see them. Yeah, well, you see anybody wearing Legion Crimson or a lot of sports equipment, you just let me know. You still haven't answered my question. I just wanted to check out a few. Just looking around. I'm meeting new people. I think you better leave. Do you treat everyone around all? Do you treat everyone around here like this? I don't see how that affects me. Just making friendly conversation. I don't have friends here. Well, I'm not from here. I don't see how that affects me. I didn't say I wanted to be your friend. I well I'm not from here. No. No, you're not, are you? Maybe you shouldn't go. Not just yet. Why is that? Are you going to try to kill me? So now you want something from me? Why is that? I need someone I can trust. You're a stranger. That's a start. What do you want me to do? I want you to find something out for me. I don't know if there's anything to find, but I need someone to try. My wife was taken from our home by Legion slavers one night while I was on watch. They knew when to come, and what route to take, and they only took Carla. Someone set it up. I don't know who. You're trying to track down your wife? My wife's dead. I want the son of a bitch who sold her. What do I do if I find this person? Bring him out in front of the nest here while I'm on duty. I work nights. I'll give you my NCR beret to put on. It'll be our signal so I know you're standing with him. And I'll take care of the rest. I need to do this myself. I see what I can do. Good. I'll make it worth your while. And one more thing. We shouldn't speak again. Not until it's over. No one in town knows that I know what happened to my wife. Best they never know. Or the Legion will be after me next. I know, all right. That's all you need to know. Okay. Yeah. Well, let's. This quest is. Uh, this quest is good. I like this quest. Hey. Welcome back. Can I get you anything? 
Yeah, what can you tell me about Boone's wife? Can't say we spoke much. Boone did most of the buying for him. She was in the store once, but she didn't stay long. Hmm. Had a look on her face like she'd smelled something sour. But far as I can remember, the gift shop smelled fine. Well, fine as it always does. Okay, nice. Okay. Come back soon now. Okay. I need information, my friend. I need information. Give me information. I need information. They're all sleeping. Isn't that right? No. Where's the ranger? Hey, hey, I have to talk to you. You'll get the hang of that takedown. I had trouble learning it at first, too. What can you tell me about Boone's wife? Carla was a knockout. Whenever Boone walked around with her, he always had this funny grin on his face like he couldn't believe his luck. I know we couldn't. That wasn't the only reason she stuck out, though. That girl never minced words. If she'd had better food or hospitality, she'd let you hear it. Trouble was, she usually had. I don't think she meant it. She really was a sweet girl. I think she just wanted to remind herself that there's still nicer places in this world than Novak. Who could blame her for that? What's wrong with me? Had his wife taken. I don't think he'll ever be the same as he was. Damn shame. I told the rangers up at the station to keep an eye out, but there's just too much ground out there for them to cover. Okay. Hey, uh, wait a sec. I know what I said, but if you find yourself by Ranger Station Charlie, let me know what you find. I'd be interested. Yeah, no no big deal. I do this. But first... Let me talk to the other people. Hey there. Hey, what's up? What's going on, man? Who would want to... Who would want to hurt Boone's wife? Man, everybody. That girl didn't have one friend in this whole town. She didn't want any. She wanted to sit in her room all day and make herself miserable. And she went out of her way to be rude. She upset a lot of people. You wouldn't have liked her either. Did you have anything to do with Boone's wife's disappearance? Believe me, when I heard the news, my first thought was, I owe somebody big. I figured Boone would come around after a while. But he hasn't. I'm starting to think that if he doesn't find her, things will never go back to the way they were. Okay. Yeah. So. Yes. Sorry, man. Don't want to bother you. So there we have a few people left to talk. Well, I wanna clear this for real. Look who's here. What brings you here? I hope that no bark gets his name. I'm not sure who started it. it. Wasn't a very nice name, but he took to calling himself by it, so we all had to. I don't even remember what his real name is. Anyway, I think it comes from that expression that people say when you're crazy, that not all of your dogs are barking. Poor no bark. Oh, we keep to ourselves for the most part. Try not to pry. I think Jeannie Mae gets bothered that we aren't more sociable. But it's just our way. Ain't Sorry. that we don't appreciate what she's done, managing this town like she has. But I worry she feels that way anyhow. Not that there ain't others who pry around here. That no bark was skulking around our yard last week. <laughs> I thought he was our cow killer. Was about to lash him with our bull whip till I saw who it was. He's harmless, though. Part of me wishes I could see things like he sees them. All full of mystery. I just wanted to meet you. Oh, well, I'm Alice. And that handsome stranger yonder is my husband, Dusty. Going on 50 years now. I keep waiting for him to leave me for some young thing with platinum blonde hair and hoop earrings. But he still sticks around. Says it's my cooking. 
I think it's because I know which Brahmin utter you can milk without getting kicked in the noggin. If you lived here a long time... We set up this ranch years back when Novak was just getting settled. But now, with all the danger on I-15, folks are starting to come through here from all over. Novak might just be the next Nevada boomtown. Mm -hmm. What can you tell me about Boone's wife? Boone. That's that sniper fella. Works in the dinosaur, right? I only met them but once or twice. They seem real happy together. I really ought to get to know them better. They're probably nice folk. Okay. Nice of you to visit. Let's talk to this guy. Dusty. Howdy. Dusty, I want to talk to you, man. Things treating you all right? What do you do here in Novick? Oh, I tend to my ranch. That's about it. Alice will tell you, I don't get out a whole lot. I heard you've been losing livestock. Losing don't describe it. It's a massacre. A few more days and there won't be nothing left to lose. Tell me what you know about the attacks. Every night around midnight, Alice and I wake up to some crazy hollering and gunshots. You'd think the world was ending all over again. But it's just one animal each night. They don't take it or carve it up or nothing. Just leave it there, all full of holes. Hmm. I see I can catch whoever's responsible. We'd be grateful. Especially if you find them before they get my whole stock. But don't go getting yourself killed over it. Alice and I'll find a way to make do. Always have. Hmm. Did you get a look at the attacker? Beg your pardon, mister, but them two-headed beeves ain't worth getting shot over. Not to mention what would happen if half of what Nobark says is true. Best we can hope is that whoever's doing this will move on or get tired of it. I just hope it happens while we still got animals left. Whoever it is, I don't think they're from around town. Seems like they've taken to shooting from the west side. Mm-hmm. So what can you tell me about Boone's wife? Well, to be honest with you, I don't really know them two as well as I might. I remember she had an edge about her, like she'd rather be someplace else. This kind of life ain't for everyone, that's for darn sure. Well, okay, goodbye. So long. I don't think they have anything to do with the death of Boone's wife. From the west, so they shoot from here. Well, hello. Hey there, Genie. Is everything all right? Awful late to be dropping in unexpected. What can you tell me about Wounds Wild? How should I put it? I guess you could say she was kind of like a cactus flower. Real pretty to look at, but there was just no getting close to her. Mm -hmm. She never did take to living here. She liked the big lights and fast living of New Vegas. I got the feeling she was trying to get Boone to leave with her, but I guess she got tired of waiting. What's wrong with Boone? Nothing that wouldn't be wrong with any man who loses a wife, I suppose. Poor dear. I know he thinks she was kidnapped, but I'm not so sure she didn't just run off on her own. You could tell she was thinking about it ever since they arrived. Okay. What? Well, I didn't come any any farther. Well, there's just one guy who didn't like her. And this is his former best friend. I think he did it, but I'm not sure. I don't want to kill the wrong person. Don't get me wrong. Let's go to No Bark. Talk to him. Maybe he knows something. He's a good person. Oh, there. Careful. You've seen them too, haven't you? I can see it in your eyes. I knew I wasn't the only one. What do you know about the abduction of Boone's wife? Seen it all. Seen shadowy folk come to his room and leave again in the middle of the night. Thought one might have gone in the lobby too for a spell. Could be that person went in to get something. Or used the John, maybe. Mighty interesting either way, you ask me. 
I thought it was cannibals, come to eat us all for sure. So I kept out of sight. But now I know better. Who was it? More rat men. Come up from the underneath to steal young women with promises of riches and fancy mud mansions with all the latest designer appliances. They covered our lady folks' long hair for wigs, it said, being either bald or balding themselves. Has anybody acting strange lately? I don't trust a man that doesn't have something strange going on about him, because it means he's hiding it from you. If a man's wearing his pants on his head, or if he says his words backwards from time to time, you know it's all laid out there for you. But if he's friendly to strangers and keeps his home spick and span, more often than not, he's done something even his own ma couldn't forgive. Mm -hmm. Goodbye. Are you serious? Careful. They got spies all over. You've seen them too. If it what to do now? Let's have a look in my quest log. Look for evidence of the guilty party inside the Dino D light lobby. to the Dino D light lobby. Where's the lobby? front desk let's go is this the right way it's a front desk but not a lobby I drink this eight. Oh, where is it? Ah, yeah. Where's the lobby? Room, motel room, hotel room. No bug check, no wax house. Where's the lobby? Just a front desk, but no lobby. What the hell, man? Where 
Where's the lobby? Is this the lobby? I don't know. I really don't know. Should this be the lobby? This is the lobby. Is this the lobby? I don't know, man. This is the Dino Delight front desk. This is the motel room. This is the gift shop. So this should be the lobby here. Guess. Could be wrong. I'm looking at hmm Dino D light lobby I am here, but there's no Dino D light lobby. Loading bench, workbench. This is Dino Delight here. I guess, I'm sorry, I don't know. I never played this game before. Well, the lobby is for me something different. did it who the beep did it I mean well the fence is pretty messed up you could just go here and here look no what did I do I'm stuck. Nice. Great. Shushu, you did so good, man. This was just great, man. Oh, no, man. Why? Oh. Nice. 
Where's the lobby? Where? Where? The lobby should be... The front desk is there and this should be the lobby, right or wrong? What am I looking for? What am I looking for here? What? 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 What do I need to find? What do I need? Many you son of a gun. Daisy White Man. Howdy. Hey Daisy. Fine weather for flying. It's times like these that make me miss it all. Vertebird pilot. 71 missions and only lost one chopper. Rotor malfunction over Klamath. Hard landing, but I walked away. What do you do in Norway? I help folks strip down the more complicated bits of salvage <coughs> they bring in. Sorry. Engines, mostly. The bits and pieces we take out are usually worth more than the whole thing put together. Do you fly for the NCR? Four? No, not exactly. It was a long time ago. Things are a lot different these days, and those days are way behind me. Okay, goodbye. Watch your six out there. Well, what should I do, man? It's crazy. Please don't kill me. I swear I'll have... Wait, you... You don't work for Mr. Bishop, do you? No, I don't. Sorry, it's just... You look like his type, you know? You got that hard-ass wasteland explorer thing going on. Aren't you that singer from New Reno? I think I saw you play the clubs there. Oh, so you have heard of me. Yeah, that's right. Uh, I was the big draw at the Shark Club. People used to pay hundreds of caps to see me. Why did you come all the way out here from New Reno? You don't know Mr. Bishop. He's not like other bosses up there. He knows the wasteland like the back of his hand, and he likes to wander it. I knew if I didn't get way the hell away from New Reno, he'd run me down like a dog. Why would this Mr. Bishop be after you? Oh, well, that's all just a big misunderstanding, see? Mr. Bishop, well, he owed me a lot of money, and, uh, you know, he's a busy guy, so I sort of figured I'd just... Take it off his hands. Mm -hmm. You stole. You robbed a casino, boss? Robbed is such an ugly word. It's more like I took care of a payroll problem for him. Also, I might have uh, sort of plowed his daughter. A little. 
Okay. Wow, my head is off to you to take some balls. Thanks. But if Bishop finds me and I don't have his money, my balls are going to be on his trophy wall. That's that's a tough break. Good luck with that. I'll let you know if I find any work for a singer. You do that? Great. I really appreciate that. Uh, yeah, yeah. See you later. Dude. I still don't know where the dino light lobby is. I mean, it's the front desk. Could this be the lobby? No, oh, because this is the front hey desk. There. Oh my god, man! The only door is accessible, why? Just a gift shop. We have a wasteland, but this is not a lobby. Give me a melee weapon. Do I have a melee weapon? Nah, don't have a melee weapon anymore. Dino D Light Lobby. Is this a joke, man? I'm still in Novak. Look for evidence of the guilty party inside the Dino D Light lobby. Where's the lobby? Is this the lobby? But I'm in the Mojave Wastelands, not in the lobby or something. I don't know, 
man. I really don't know. Well, the front desk I know. Hey there, friend. I don't know, man. I hope you're finding everything. We're in a little desert oasis, name of Novak. This is the Dino Delight Motel, and it's mine. Hmm. Um. I can't see as how I'd charge you after the generous things you've done for the town. The room's on me. Oh. Your room will be the one upstairs, closest to the lobby side. Here's your key. Let me know if there's anything I can do to make your stay better for you. Watch out for strangers. Closest to the lobby side. This is my room now. It's mine. Okay, so this is my room. Nice. Books. But she told me it's the closest to the lobby. I can sleep here. Some dog meat. I tell you, man. This is the lobby. I think. now find some evidence what is this quest man I already know the well let's see if I can do well, it's just... Why? Closest to the lobby. This is the front desk. This is or is this the lobby too? The front desk and the lobby. Hey there. Lobby? Hey, what's up?
It gives me a key the closest to the lobby. This is the lobby. Or is it? Are you serious? Or is this the lobby? Because I don't have every, any evidence. I don't have any clue what I should be looking for. I really don't. Look for evidence. In the lobby. And I'm here. Looking around. Like an idiot. Don't know what to do. Don't know where to go. Are you serious? Which evidence? What should I do? Howdy. Find evidence. this man walking around don't know what to do where can I find evidence I say we just end this part right here because I don't know where to go. Morning. I don't know how I, sh how I should complete or finish this quest. I really don't know. I don't know where the lobby is. I don't know what to do. I have to find evidence. But I really don't know where it is and I just run around 30 minutes and didn't get any closer to the evidence. So I say we stop the part right here and well I still hope you liked the video and if you liked it then please subscribe, give a thumbs up and yeah leave a comment i hope you like the video still maybe in the next part we find the evidence have a nice day bye bye